What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about all of the new things coming with the PS5 update tomorrow, September the 15th. I'll have all this information linked down in the description if you would like to read over it for yourself. There's a lot of good stuff going on within this update. I think a lot of players are going to be happy with. I'm going to do something a little bit different today for gameplay. I'm going to have some Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart gameplay in the background. This was a game that I got with my PS5 bundle that I bought about a month ago. And it has actually been a very enjoyable, fun kind of game just to just hang out and play and kind of relax after I do my YouTube stuff during the day and whatever. It's just been a lot of fun to play, kind of just, you know, nothing I have to record or anything like that. It's just been a lot of fun. So I hope you guys do enjoy that gameplay in the background. Uh, one of the things that's coming tomorrow is a control center customization. Players can now customize their control center more freely by rearranging or choosing which controls to hide or unhide at the bottom of the screen. Also, players can now easily view and write messages to friends and parties directly from a game base in uh, in game control center. It's not a slow process to send a message on PS5, but it is not as easy as it could be with this new ability to, you know, send messages to your friends or parties. will make it a lot easier if you're just in the middle of a game, so you don't actually have to back out to the home screen to be able to do that. Another thing they're adding in is the game library and home screen updates. If you have the same version of a PS4 and PS5 game installed, they will now be separate in the install tab of the game library and the home screen. Also screen reader controls players can now pause or resume screen reader by pressing the PlayStation button and the triangle button. Also new game and social customizations. PlayStation Now resolution selector. So if you're a PlayStation Now subscriber, you can actually choose between 720 or 1080 depending on the game to accommodate their pref preferred video resolution for game streaming and a new accolade type. Following an online match, players can award others with a four, uh, fourth accolade type leader, which is visible on the player profiles. Of course, there's helpful, good sport, leader, and welcoming. Uh, welcoming. So leader has been added to that, so you can see those accolades. If you know you are a person that is wanting to see someone else's profile, one of your friend's profiles, see what kind of accolades they have, you will be able to uh, see those now with that new one added in, the leader accolade. Also, the automatic capture of personal best videos will be something that's added in. So if you have a clip of action uh, that is your personal best and you score, whatever the case may be, it will be automatically recorded. And you can actually go into your media gallery and uh, in the captures and broadcasting settings and have direct control over how this function will work. So be sure, you know, if you would like to have that on or off, whatever the case may be, that you check into that. Also, they've added a new trophy tracker that lets players quickly access up to five trophies per game through the control center. 3D support for built-in TV speakers. The 3D support that they have for headphones is now being brought to you know, your TV. So if you have a two-channel TV speaker audio, you will now be able to hear that in three-dimensional sound, heightening the sense of gameplay immersion. Says players can measure the acoustics of the room using the microphone on their DualSense wireless controller to apply the 3D audio setting that's optimized for their room. So that, of course, this was something that players really were enjoying with the new you know, uh, PS5 within, within the headsets, but they want to bring this to players that may not use a headset, that may actually use TV speakers to play with. So that's something really cool. Also, if you own a 3D Pulse headset, you will now have access to equalizer settings within sound controls, allowing them to customize the sound profile according to their preference. So if you own the 3D Pulse headset, you can now actually go in and change your equalizer settings to be you know, more of a bass sound, more high boost, low boost, that kind of thing. And also you will have customization options for the decibels and the hertz of each individual sound. So for example, if you're like myself and I own a uh, Astro A40 TR set uh, of, of headphones that I've had for years, you can actually go in inside of Astro's program and change you know, your hertz and you know how the game sounds and what you want each individual game to sound like. So you can mess with those different settings. If you want to hear, if you're playing uh, you know, a shooter, if you want to hear more gun sound or more footsteps, you're able to change those equalizer settings to be you know, tailored for that specific game. And they are now bringing that to PlayStation for people that own the Pulse 3D wireless headset. You will now have that option to change those equalizer settings inside your PlayStation, which is really good. And also the M.2 SSD storage expansion. Uh, tomorrow you will actually be able to purchase those M.2 SSD storages and you know, once installed to your PS5 or your PS5 digital, so either the disc or digital, the storage can now be used to download, comp, uh, copy, and launch PS5 and PS4 games as well as media apps. This is the only uh, kind of thing that goes along with this that you need to know is it must meet the minimum performance and size requirements and also uh, make sure that it does have heat sink on it for cooling structure. 
there is a link in this article from PlayStation that talks about the exact size requirements and things. And I will have this posted down in the description. If you guys are looking to pick up an M.2 SSD, you can make sure that the one you're looking at will fit and actually work within the PS5. I know a lot of people are looking to expand their storage because games these days are absolutely massive and it's hard to have much on your console without running out of room. And I know the M.2 SSD storages right now are, are pretty expensive. I think they will come down in price eventually, but I know some people out there are already, you know, buying them, ordering them or thinking about doing that. So just keep in mind, you may need to check that article out to make sure everything you're getting works correctly. And they're doing some changes to the PS Remote Play app and the PS5 uh, or the PS app enhancements just in general. So if you use the app, you may want to check that out if you're a fan of using that PlayStation app. Anyway, guys, like I said, this is going to be a pretty good update tomorrow. A lot of things changing, a lot of good quality of life changes, UI changes, all that kind of stuff. Changes for people that have the 3D headsets. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.